Thank you very much for having me. Vancouver is always a great spot to be. Um, I'm going to be talking about cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is a really interesting subject um, uh, because, you know, I really liked, and David, thank you for that presentation today. It was excellent. Uh, really, I really liked when you talked about risk and uncertainty because what I'm going to be talking about today is really risk and uncertainty. There are things that we can look after and there's things that we, we just don't know when they're going to happen. We don't know it, how they're going to happen. So we're going to go through that today. So I want to give you some stats. That's what I'm going to talk about. We were talking to some of our uh, law enforcement friends and they were giving us some stats. 3% of cyber crime incidents that have been reported to the police have been looked after by the police. Okay, so that's a problem, huge problem for us in Canada. But between 35,000 and 50,000 ransomware attacks happened last year, and only three of them were investigated fully by law enforcement. So the reason I give you those two stats is because when we talk about cyber crime, it's a problem. And we're, we're, we're all faced globally uh, with that issue. And hopefully I'm going to give you some of the reasons why we're all struggling with this particular issue. What I'm going to try to teach you today is that it's us that are part of the problem. And these statistics are just kind of playing on some of the things that we're going to be talking about today. So the reason I put this slide up, and it's not to really kind of t talk about the FUD, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt, but really it's about are you gambling with your future? With from a business perspective. And when I start talking about numbers and some of the people that have had major breaches and the cost that it's cost them, and they didn't know. Sometimes cyber insurance won't pay. We're gonna talk about why they won't pay. Sometimes they, they don't do a good job in telling you, but other, other, the other side is we don't do a good enough job actually understanding what we should, be, what we should be getting from a cyber insurance perspective. The big thing here is you're lucky if you haven't gotten breached, unless you're super prepared. And you may have haven't been breached. Remember those stats I gave you? 3% are only being reviewed by police. Those are incidences. So th those are numbers that we're, we're just not familiar with. And from an economics perspective, is it actually an economic issue within Canada? It's hard to say. These are dollars that are, that are being lost. And uh, I don't know what the impact is. I don't know if there's studies that are happening out there. No one thinks it's going to happen to them. And when you watch a TV show, you have a vision of a lot of people say, hey, that sounds like the CSI cyber. Dan, is that what you guys do? Mm, yeah, I guess there are components of it that we do. But in reality, you know, it's not, it's not that. I mean, that's Hollywood. And sometimes that's who we look to or we look um, um, towards, up to, to kind of get an idea of what's really happening in the world. The most important thing to remember on this slide, it's normally just money. That's what people want to do. And they're going to, if they're, when they take it, there's a bunch of different ways that they actually get financial gains. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that.